All right, Shalom, Yasha'Allah, back with another GMS on that go. I'm Brother Nakam. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible who rule well. And a double Shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth pushing the truth from righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And I was able to get up today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Yahweh, that's who the work it can only calls God, which his name means he is or he exists. And Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son, that's who the work it can only calls Jesus, which his name means he saves and he delivers. And I'm just going to get into a little will and edifying lesson today on the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, controls all. I'm going to say that again. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Awashai, controls all. So without further ado, I'm going to grab my first precept and Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latino Americans, are edified. All right. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? And that's a question. And to answer that question is yes. You see, and the trumpet symbolizes a warning. So in these last days, you had the prophets, the men of the Lord, blowing the trumpet to our people, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. And two-thirds of our people, they're not afraid of what we're telling them that's written inside the Bible. You see, they're not afraid of the prophecies that are coming to pass. They're just living their regular lives like they ain't got a care in the world. So yes, you should be afraid when the trumpet, the warning is being blown. It reads on, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? That's right. And this is another question. And to answer this question is yes. Evil means bad times. So when evil bad times come upon the face of the earth, is it not the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Shah, that's doing it? Is it not Yahweh Bashim Shah that's bringing the evil to bad times upon the face of the earth? And to answer that question is yes. And I'm going to prove that. I'm going to grab my next precept. And again, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, are edified. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. That's right. So it's Yahweh Bashim Shah that's forming the light and creating darkness. It says, I made peace. And create evil. That's right. So when there's peace going on the face of the earth, it's Yahweh Bashim Shah that's making that happen. When everything's running smooth, everything's going just fine, it's Yahweh Bashim Shah, the one that's making peace going on the face of the earth. But not only do they make peace, they also create evil. Again, evil means bad times. So going back to Amos 3 and 6, should there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah have not done it? Yes, they're the ones doing the evil, bringing the bad times upon the face of the earth. Because what? They're the ones creating the evil. So when you see house fires, tornadoes, tsunamis, floods, earthquakes, forest fires, massacre shootings, you name it, it's Yahweh Bashim Shah, the one that's doing the evil upon the face of the earth. It reads on. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, do all these things. That's right. So it's not Allah. It's not Buddha. It's not the Hindu God of Sheba. It's not Santa Maria. It's not Baphomet. It's not none of these false gods who are no gods who are getting praise and worship. It's Yahweh Bashim Shah, the God of Bible, that's doing all of these things. They're the ones pulling the strings and making these things happen. So I'm going to grab my next precept. Let me see. Do the Romney. Alright, this is Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. That's right. So Yahweh Bashim Shah, they're the one and only living true powers in the heavens. Allah, Buddha, the Hindu God of Sheba, Santa Maria, Haile Selassie, all these false gods who are no gods, 
They're not with Yah Bashima Shah in the heavens, bossing them around, giving them orders, telling them what to do. You see? It's Yah Bashima Shah. They stand alone. They give their own orders to their own selves. They tell their own selves what to do. There's no other God beside Yah Bashima Shah. It reads on. I kill. That's right. So all these people that you see perishing from off the face of the earth, dying at an alarming rate, it's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the God of Bible, that's killing these people and putting these people to death upon the face of the earth. You see? So when you see somebody dying by the way of Tifa wild beasts, house fires, massacre shootings, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, you name it. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that's doing it. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that's killing and putting these people to death upon the face of the earth. It reads on. I kill. And I make a lie. That's right. So not only does Yahweh Bashim Al Shah kill, but he also has the power to make you alive. The reason why people are breathing and alive on the face of the earth is because of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. It reads on. I wound and I heal. That's right. So if you break your leg, hurt your back, break your arm, your foot, whatever the case may be, it's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that hurt you. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that injured you. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that wounded you. But the same way they can wound you is the same way they can very well heal you from that wound. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah has the power to do all these things. It reads on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's right. Going back to um, Hebrews 10 and 31. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Because can't nobody deliver you, can't nobody save you out of their hands when they're ready to bring judgment upon you. You see? So it's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that's in control of all these things. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that's doing all of these things. First sentence. Okay. This is First Samuel chapter two, verse six. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Awashai killeth and maketh alive. So again, it's Yahweh Bashim Awashai, the one that kills and makes alive upon the face of the earth. It reads on. He bringeth down to the grave, and bringeth up. That's right. And the grave symbolizes hell, a low condition. So it's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah who will bring you down to hell, to a lower state. And the same way they'll bring you down to hell, to that lower state, they'll also lift you up. They'll bring you up from that lower state. Verse 7. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, make of poor and make of rich. That's right. So if you're a bum on the street, you ain't got no money, you ain't got no job, you know, you struggling. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that made you poor. It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah who made you like that. But the same way they make of poor, they also make of rich. You know, so if you got a lot of money, you wealthy, you ain't really got to want for too much. It's your, it's, so like it's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah who made you like that as well. It reads on. He bring up low and lift up. That's right. You see, so it's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that's doing all these things. All credit goes to them. Let me see, I'm gonna grab one preset and I'm gonna close out. Uh, this one's gonna be in the pocket for Akim. Mm, let me see. Bear with me. All right. This is an apocrypha. Sirach. Oh, so like, yeah, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11, verse 14. 
It says prosperity and adversity. Prosperity basically meaning like when you're doing good in life, when you're succeeding. It's an adversity when you're going through a lot of hell, you know, when you're being afflicted. It says life and death, whether you live or whether you die. Poverty and riches. Poverty meaning like when you're poor, you know, you ain't got a lot. You ain't got too much. And riches, when you're wealthy, you know, you got a lot of money. It says... Come of the Lord, Yahabashimal Shah. That's right. So all these things that I just named according to the Bible, all these things come from Yahabashimal Shah. You see, so if they want you to prosper in life, you're gonna prosper. If they want you to go through adversity, you're gonna go through adversity. Life and death. If they want you to live, you're gonna live. If they want you to um be put to death, you're gonna die. If they want you to be in poverty, you're gonna be in poverty. If they want you to be rich, you're gonna be rich. All of these things come from Yahabashimal Shah. You see, Yahabashimasha, they control all. Yahabashimasha controls all. So that's my lesson. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, were edified. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible who rule well. And a double shalom warm to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Till next time, shalom warm. Kwam Yashallah.